Are you looking for the best cotton rope basket? We have a new baby, as y'all know, or not really new, he's almost a year now, and there's toys all over the living room floor, and I was like, I have to find a way to get rid of all these toys. They just, he loves to just dig in bins and scatter things everywhere, because that's what babies do. And so I figured that we, we, for this mess, we could do a cheap way and get like a cardboard box or some Tupperware and just put it over into the side of the living room and he can kind of dig through that. But I figure let's look for something a little bit nicer since it's going to be in the living room. And so we opted to go for one of those cotton rope baskets. We got this one right here. I want to open it up with you guys today and take a look at what we got here. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have and buy to... So that our kids don't mess up our living room. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell too. That way you actually get notified of our videos. Like I said, we got a mess in the living room. Let's crack open this bad boy right here. This thing had tons of reviews on Amazon. I can't remember how many, but uh, if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it up down in the description below. Uh, Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy checking it out. And this is the one that we thought was best for us. And so, um, let's see. Got a little paper in there. Got that paper. Ooh, this comes in a fancy bag. Look at this. This is nice. Comes with little Ziplocs made by Home Storage Supplies. And it comes with a little zipper bag. I, that's actually kind of nice if you need to travel with it for whatever reason. Or if you live if you live in an RV or you have an RV, you can take uh, this to go. Oh, it even comes like to where you, it's tied up and whatnot. So it comes with a strap so you can tie it and untie it. That's super cool. I actually really like that. Is it attached? No, the strap is not attached to the basket. So you do have to make sure that you don't lose that. Let me get rid of this cardboard box. So... What we were looking for is we need to put, you know, a whole bunch of toys in there. And so uh, we're going for how big can we get it in the space that's there. And in fact, we thought, thought about getting two of them. But I found this one is pretty sizable. Uh, kind of a gray and white pattern, just a striped pattern here. Um, and it's, it was really big. That's what I went for. Like I said, if you guys want to check this thing out, I'm going to link it up down in the description below. Uh, a lot of the reviews that I read said that it was really sturdy, so I'm kind of curious to see. It does have the two nice handles up on top here. Uh, the stitching on this, the, however they put this together, looks really nice all the way through and through the basket. And then the handle is actually, looks like it's buttoned on or riveted on or something like that. There's the front side, and then there is the back side right there. Maybe you guys know a little bit more about those type of attachments. But then they also have, uh, this is probably a faux leather thing here. Yeah, the buttons are just gone through there. See, they just go through this like leather piece right here on that side. I think that's just for aesthetics. I don't know if it actually serves a purpose. But um, if y'all want to go check out the dimension of this one too, I don't remember exactly what it was. Somewhere around like 20 inches deep, I want to say. And like I said, we might get another one. You know what? Let's go inside the house and I want to show you guys uh, all the things that we're trying to put in here. Now, I, I'm probably going to have to be a little quiet, uh, but... Um, because uh, the baby's sleeping right now, so hopefully we don't wake him up going in there. I don't think we will, but I just want to show you guys what we have, what we plan on doing, where we want to put things, and uh, all that type of stuff. Uh, so we're going on a dad reviews field trip. <laughs> if you guys want, y'all can uh, click that thumbs up button for me and subscribe, right? <laughs> While we're walking, taking the field trip. Okay, so this is the living room in here, and we have all those toys right there y'all see that he likes to just take those and and take them we temporarily we use this little cardboard box but we want to be able to fit all this stuff in there well not these two big things but so we thought that this basket would be a good uh spot for this right here I think it's gonna work. It looks like it's about the, the size that we want. So like I said, if you guys wanna check this thing out, I'll link it up down in the description below. You guys can go and read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy checking it out for the first time. In fact, I'm gonna do a follow-up review of that basket. And if you guys wanna see that follow-up review, whenever it's up, I'm gonna link it right here. You guys click that video. I'll see y'all in that video right there. Uh, in the meantime, while if that video is not up, I'm gonna put some other storage ideas 
videos for uh, toys and whatnot that you guys can go and check out. Click that video. I'll see you on that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. If you know someone who has a baby and they have a mess all over their floor, please share this video with them on Facebook. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.